today we are going to discuss agriculture the practice of farming or cultivating crops is called agriculture to get a good crop the farmer has to follow a number of steps like we have to follow different steps for agriculture so we have to see that what are the steps like plowing sowing watering harvesting and storing the crops so we will discuss one by one every steps here i will step the every step that first step is the plowing next is wedding sowing watering harvesting and storing so these are the steps for the agriculture like a farmer just go from plowing to the storing and then after this they can sell the whatever crops they are growing so this is according to the need after for farmers so you have to repeat this step for agriculture so one by one we will discuss let us discuss the plowing plowing is the digging up of soil to prepare it for growing crops plowing is done with the help of plow here you can see here there are two different types of plowing like when one is the traditional one and the second one is with the advanced one in advanced one the plowing is just uh, is being done with the help of a tractor and in traditional it is being done with animals next step is weeding weeding is done with the rake or harrow you know that a rake is a tool with a long teeth at one end the soil is broken down into lumps and smoothened with the help of a harrow so you have to use this rake or harrow for plowing or the weeding so you in weeding you need to use this use this two devices then the weeds weeds are just removed through these two types so the next one is sowing you have to first remove the weeds with the help of these two devices or you can see you can say that two machineries rack and harrow the next one is sowing once the soil is ready different crops are grown healthy and ripe seeds of the best variety are selected and shot and now sown they are now they are there are many scientifically developed seeds which give more crops or grow faster so the next one is watering crops grow well if they get the right amount of water at the right time here we have different methods like field irrigation water in field irrigation water is simply released into the field that is known as field irrigation and the furrow irrigation in furrow irrigation water is simply released into furrows and the sprinkle irrigation is some fields water is lifted by a pump led to plants through pipes with the sprinklers and sprayed on the crops this method is called sprinkler irrigation and the next one is drip here in drip they have just uh, in drip system pipes have holes through which water drip in the soil and next one is the crop production in crop production sometimes farmers just spray for a better yield of their crops sometimes they grow mostly scarecrow and sometimes they build fencing to protect their crop from other animals and sometimes they spread fertilizers in the crops to protect it from different pesticides the soil is made more fertile by adding manure or fertilizers into it so the next one is harvesting you can see here two different methods like the first one is traditional and the down one is the advanced method in traditional method the whole family was just used to cut down the crops and in the advanced method machinery is used so this is the type of harvesting so in the next we have to store the grains like here you can see a large go down are used to store different crops it is very important to store the harvested crop properly molds grow easily in cold and damp places so grains are always stored in dry and well ventilated rooms pesticides are sprayed here so you have to store this so the today's task is suggest some pre 
precautions for farmers so they so that they are less likely to get risks while handling fertilizers and suggest how you can increase the crop yield like increase the crop yield crop yield is like how you can grow more and more of the crop so just like you are just producing rice so how you will get more and more rice if you are producing cultivating some wheat so how you are how you have to get more and more wheat and in the first one you have to suggest that how uh, like fertilizers are dangerous to the farmers like if they are spreading it with the hands so how they can get how they can get less likely to the risk so thank you